Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn Pydenting Schema and the Data Validation. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So Pydenting is the data validation library in the Python that is widely used in the Fast API for validating the request and the response data. Pydenting provides a way to define the data schemas using the Python classes, allowing you to specify the structure, type, and validation rules for your data. Here's how you can do that. So this is an example. Okay, so I'm going to take an example like this. From this it is started, right? So let's copy this one. Okay. And here you can see that, I think it says the dictionary is the method dictionary in class based model is appreciated. Use model dump. Okay, let's use model dump. Fine. Okay, let's have a look. So here you can see that we have a Pyrandic model for the request body. It should be string. Description should be anything string or float and this should be tag should be also float okay so route handler for handling the post request so here we are sending the request body with the name description price and the tax validation is automatically performed by the pyrantic if validation fails fast api will automatically return the 422 unprocessable and detailed response containing the details about the validation errors if the validation success the validating data will be available in the item parameter and here you can see that print the validated data like this item that model dump okay and you can use the validating data as needed and such as saving it to the database once the data is comes you can save it wherever uh, database or anything okay then the message returning that item created successfully with data okay so let's try to save this and go to the postman or swagger just reload this here we have the api endpoint so here let's try it out so he required description so let's a description here also b text and all everything is there if i try to execute this one here you can see that the data message data item created successfully data we received in the respect respective of the response right so whatever response we have defined it's coming up like this okay so if i do something like um, here you can see that price i'm going to make it like zero to string then what will happen it will throw the error right so here you can see i think price is something um here we go with this one what it says that the price should be float execute mm -hmm. let's add something like string which is actually string Okay, float parsing error at it input should be a valid number, unable to parse the string as a number. Here you can see that the error is coming. Okay, so this is how you can do the validation part. Okay, so any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day. In the next video, we are going to learn assessing the form data. So whatever the form data we are submit, we are going to assess the data. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.